Today I'm going to show you how to create highly engaging 3D videos using a light motion on your mobile, just like the pros at Magnets Media and other faceless creators. It's very easy but you have to watch the video till the end. I provide all the assets you need in the description box. And yes, they are free. All I ask in return is your love and 500 likes. Let's make it happen. To make 3D videos you should know how 3D camera works. Now you will get many things in this. But we will focus on 3 things. 3D animations, 3 dimensions, X axis, Y axis and Z axis. Don't be confused. It's very easy. See, if you are moving an object left right, then you are moving it on the X axis. And if you are moving an object up and down, then it is the Y axis. And if you move an object forward or backward, then that is the Z axis. Now you must be thinking that this image is zooming in and zooming out. But no. If you look at the same thing from the side, then this camera is from your eye. As soon as we move the Z axis backward, it is not getting smaller but it is moving backward. And if we move it forward. So it's not zooming, it's coming forward. Similarly, if a girl is standing far away, you think she's small. But if she comes close, she's big. Now her height is the same, but the things far away seem small and the size of the pass is big. Now you will get to see many 3D scenes in my 3D pack. Select one of them. Then come to the Light Motion app. Click on the plus icon and copy my settings here. Now, if you want my project file, I will upload it on Telegram. And how to use it, I will tell you at the end of the video. Click on this plus icon and add all the images one by one on the media. First background, then mountains, then statue. And which will come first and which later. Don't get confused at all in this. I have written the name and number there, so you won't be confused at all. So you have to add each one by following the sequence of serial numbers one by one. One, two, three, etc. And everything should be perfect. That's why I have given an image, so you can check it out if your image is looking good or not. And when all your things are set, your image will look like a final image. Drag all the images like this for 5 seconds. Now we have to bring our scene in 3D environment. For that, we have to select the first image that was the sky. Then click on move and transform. Now this is the same X and Y which is for left, right, up and down. But we have to move it back. For that, we will click on Z. And if you swipe it down, then the image will come near you. And if you swipe it up, then the image will go away. So we have to move it away. Now we have to make it 3000. Then click on the third option and increase its size until it fits in the screen. Now we have to set the Z position on the same move and transform for the second layer. But this time we don't have to keep 3000. You have to keep a gap of 200 or 300 so that they don't stick to each other. And similarly you have to give a gap of 200 to 300 with every image. For example if the last image was 2700 then this current layer will be 2400. Now let's add 3D camera. Click on the plus icon for that then add the object and elements and add the camera from here. To activate the camera click on this option then activate the camera from here and come to move and transform. You can do the same from the same X and Y axis from left right up and down and our 3D scene is also set very well. Now let's add some animation. Click on the Z axis for that. Swipe up and set it like this. I want my zoom out to start from the lightning. Add a keyframe here using this button. Then go ahead in the timeline where we have to end the animation. Swipe down and set the frame back. And our animation is something like this. Pretty good. Now we have to make it smoother. For that click on this option. And from here click on the first one. Then add this one here. Now we will add some rotations to give a dynamic feel. Come to the camera and click on move and transform. Then click on this option. Go to the start of the video and add a keyframe here. And give it rotation. And go back to the end of the video and zero it again. And we will smooth it using this option. Now you can see a little black part on the top side. So we will make the size of the sky a little bigger. For that I have downloaded a video of lightning from YT. And we will add it here. And we will place its layer on the sky layer. To move the layer, you can hold it on these three lines and move it up and down. Then we will take its Z position to the sky. Then we will increase its size. Now, our video has got motion. Let's make it more realistic. For that, we will come to blending mode. There are many options here. I added lighten and screen and it looks like this, which is very good. And I tried many other modes too, so I like this one. Now the images and background colors are not matching. The back is a little bluish and the front is white. Now. To match the images and background color, we take the statue first and we will come to its add effect and add it to the standard settings. Now our background is blue, so I'll try to give it a blue tone. Yes, I like this. Now do the same thing with every layer. To add text, click on the plus icon and add your text. From the top side you can select your font and adjust the color and its size from the right side. Now we will take its set position behind the statue and fix its size here. Now, to give animation, tap on add effects and add text progress. Then click on the end of the video and add a keyframe here. Then we will keep reducing it until our text disappears. 
Then come forward in the video and increase the number so that our text becomes visible and we will make this too smooth. Then click on add effects and search for glow and add it here too. And you can also copy my settings. Now click here to export, then save to gallery. And here is your final 3D animation. To import the project file, go to the template section on a light motion and upload the file I have given here. And you will get my project file. Now, if you want to learn how I made these thumbnails with AI, let me know in the comments for my next video.